Hello, my name is Johanna Ray and during these COVID times I have a lot more time to paint and I just thought it'd be interesting to do a studio tour uh, of some of the things that I have been working on during my extra time. Also just want to say I'm very thankful for the first responders, nurses, doctors and grocery store clerks, uh, truckers, anyone that's helping me to keep safe and well at home and that I'm able to do this. Thank you to all those. Stay home and stay safe. So here is my studio. Um, it's quite large. Um, unfortunately it is in the basement but I have do have a lot of space to work so that's good and do my teaching. Here's a portrait I did of my mother and she's residing over the art studio because while well, she was always uh, very supportive of my work. So sometimes I do have students in here too. And like I said, it is large. I feel quite spoiled actually. And um, here's, I'm working on an oil painting right now. And uh, this is a picture of my daughter. Uh, she used to be a model. And uh, I do have the photographer's permission, of course, written permission to work on this. So this piece is actually a really good example of the traditional way that I usually paint and um, the traditional method that the Renaissance masters used. Uh, so the first stage is actually just the gold part is underneath everything and that's just putting in the values, the darks and middles and leaving the light canvas sh uh, showing through for the lightest value. And then the second stage is add the Van Dyke Brown, or sometimes I use Van Dyke Brown and um, Burnt Sienna, and to uh, accentuate the darks. Um, so this one you can see the three layers. There's, this hasn't had any darks put on it, and this is a combination. And here I started the first layer of color over top. So underneath the horse here you can still see this nice golden tone and I'll probably leave some of that show through and just do um, the more details just on certain parts of this painting. So this is a painting that I'm currently working on and uh, I do these collage type paintings. Uh, I cut different things out of magazines and put them together when, when something looks interesting then I paint it. So this one isn't actually collage but uh, I often do my collages and then I paint from the collages. So uh, this one is called Spotlight and um, the meaning of this one is the discussions that we have with ourselves. I'm too black, I'm too white, I'm too fat, I'm too thin and how we put ourselves into the spotlight and uh, so it's kind of interesting. I'll be showing you uh, the different stages in this one too. And it's not quite finished yet. Uh, this one, I need to do a little more work on the hair of the white girl here. And also on the feet. Other than that, I think I'm pretty well done. A little bit more work on the feet, on the very fancy shoes. So here's another one of those collage paintings. And uh, this one's called Pretty Boy. I did it a few years ago. But it just shows how I do use um, traditional oil painting techniques. This one is oil and marker on canvas, so I use traditional oil painting techniques, but uh, all my paintings have a contemporary flair these days anyway, um, and I use contemporary colors. This is another one of those where I've cut different pieces out of magazines and then put to them together. So what's this one about? This one's about the world of models, and yes, I do have the permission, written permission from that very famous photographer for that uh, perfume ad, which I think that we all know that we've seen that one before. It's very popular. And uh, yeah, so contemporary colors, but traditional techniques. That's basically what I'm up to. 
All right, so now we are heading upstairs, and here is the portrait studio. It's a small room where I like to double check some of the flesh tones in the paintings and usually finish some of the paintings here. Um, this is one of the first selfie portraits that I did. And uh, what first attracted to me, uh, me to this one uh, on Instagram was just the fact that you could see the light switches there and then you know that she's not standing in a doorway, but it's the reflection of the mirror. And it's those kind of things that I really like about the selfie portrait series and why I started them. I'll be doing 12 of them. And this is another one called, uh, this one's called Double Trouble. And these two girls were uh, art students of mine and they're also cousins and they just took it upon themselves to uh, try on dresses at the bay one day and take photos of themselves just for fun certainly not to buy the dresses and so each one actually has a story behind it and I just find that interesting. I love the angles um, and also for the first time in art history people are taking, the model is taking photos of themselves and I just found that so interesting. You get different angles and um, so I do contact everybody. Uh, most of the people I know I'm on Instagram with um, especially my students. So the last two paintings I've just showed you are former students of mine. Um, and this one here is my niece. And this is a picture that she took of herself on a trip that we were uh, in a hotel in Amsterdam a few years ago. And so this one and this one called Hyde are not quite finished yet. So I hang them here, I contemplate on what needs to be done. So this is my latest selfie portrait. It's called Love Me. And um, I also found that uh, on Instagram and that is a uh, former student also. Uh, this is just the beginning stages of this one. I've painted the background in acrylics, so sometimes I do that. And then just put the black over top. Just gives me a slightly different look. Um, and I also have this look in this uh, portrait here. Uh, this one is finished and it's called Modern Mona. So what attracted me to that one, um, actually it's not a selfie portrait, but um, it was posted on Instagram. And uh, this young lady does live in Edmonton. Um, anyway, I just loved the mood of it and in her picture, it was mostly green and it reminded me of the Mona Lisa, uh, the colors anyway, that, that the Instagram post colors. Anyway, I quite enjoy this one and I really enjoyed doing it. So actually, um, I've been doing quite a bit of uh, portraits and figures lately, but now with the COVID-19, I do have more time to paint. So I just finished this rather large landscape of Southern Saskatchewan picture I took a few years ago and didn't always have time to do this large size uh, 60 inches wide and I'm really enjoying this uh, piece. Thank you for watching the little studio tour that I put together for you today and uh, you've just had a little glimpse of what it's like to be an artist so thank you for watching.